Let's look at how we say a hundred, a thousand, a million, and a billion in French. A hundred is cent. If we're talking about more than one hundred, we put the number of hundreds before the word cent. So two hundred is deux cents, and three hundred, trois cents, and so on. And with cent, we add an s at the end when it's more than one. A thousand is mille. And like with a hundred, when we're talking about more than one thousand, we put the number of thousands before the word mille. So two thousand is deux mille, and three thousand, trois mille, and so on. And for mille, unlike for a hundred, we don't write an s at the end of mille when it's more than one. Also, for mille and cent, we never put the word un before the word cent or mille. So we never say one hundred or one thousand. We just say cent and mille when it's one. For a million, we say un million. So we do have this un. And then for more than a million, we say the number of millions, the same way we did for a hundred and a thousand. So two million is deux millions, and so on. For a billion, it's un milliard. And like for a million, we do, we do say that un. So we get un milliard. And then after that, we put the number of billions we're talking about. So two billion is deux milliards, and so on. And for a million and a billion, we do write an S at the end when it's more than one. If we're talking about the number of, some, of an object, like dollars, dollar, for cent and mille, we just put the object we're talking about after the number. So a hundred dollars is cent dollar, and two thousand dollars is deux mille dollar. But if it's a million or a billion, we put de between the number and the object. So we get un million de dollars, a million dollars, or de milliards de dollars, two billion dollars. One other point is that when we write the number out, we don't use commas between three digits like we do in English. We either leave space, like I've done here, or we can put a point. When we write a comma, that's what we use to separate the number from the decimals, which is what we use a period for in English. So just be aware of this difference of notation. C'est tout.